Okay, so I'll be right back after a hand. Ow, 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 ow. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Ow, ow. This isn't helping, this isn't helping. Ow. Get away. Okay. Alright, well, um. Hello, everybody. My name is Jeremiah Mail, and welcome back to Minecraft. This is, if I'm correct, episode 7. Okay, so, uh, what I've been doing between videos is actually collecting all of the wood from inside inside here and all the fences. Um, I decided it it's going to be better, um, so I don't have to firstly cut down trees, and secondly, there's just so much of it that that it it would be a waste if I just left it down here. So anyway, um, I've also been collecting a lot of materials such as coal and iron that I've been finding. Uh, I had to go back and watch some some of my video so I can. Uh, see where some of the material was. So in this episode, um, we're gonna be finishing placing those fences because I've done everything between the videos down here, apart from going back up to get some food or something. So uh, we gotta remember where to go. I think this way. I think so, uh, because I've also been recollecting all my torches. So you know, I don't gotta keep making more. I can just save the ones I have. Uh, I know it, I know home is in a thing like this, there's one way that has spiders and, and another way that has spiders, and then there's one way that is open. Uh, ow. Uh, I, I know I've, I know I have explored every place in this mine, if there's anything I have, haven't explored, it will, it would be past the, uh, uh, the spider spawners that are near the entrance of, of the shaft. Well, the entrance from where I came in at. Okay, sorry. We just want to continue collecting this material. There we go. Sweet. Am, am I even collecting it? Yes, good. Alright, wrong way. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just go and find the way out of here first, because, you know, that'd be nice. See, like, uh, this is a good example of what I've basically been doing. I've been clearing out all of the wood and just kind of leaving it bare. I'm not really trying to make it look good. I just want the wood, and I want the resources. So, uh, I'm still struggling to find, uh, find the way out of here. It's kind of annoying, but I'll find it here in a second. Um, gotta find a place where a bunch of spiders are spawning. I know that, because there are two spawners and they look to attack me, even before I get close to the exit. I honestly don't remember where it is. I mean, I thought it was down that way because there's, uh, cause there's a dungeon that you run, run across. It, uh... That's where I got the uh, two chests from. And the other two are from two mine cars. Alright, I think I found it. Yes, good. Okay, so this is going to be the thing that we're working on today. Um, this will be our uh, focal point of the video. Uh, I've been trying to actually set up goals and things I want to do in videos. So I, so I'm not really scattered or just trying to, you know, push a video out. Uh, I'm actually going to be trying to do content more seriously. So uh, hopefully there's going to be a lot better videos coming out soon. All right, we're going to go ahead and put all of our stuff away because we don't need this much. All right, we're going to go ahead and take some of the fences and bring some of the wood. And we're going to go ahead and start place. oh wow, that forest grew fast. Um, we're going to go ahead and finish placing this. Two blocks, yes. Alright. Okay, that's right in the way. Oh! <clears throat> Ow. Thank you. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and get rid of some of these trees, just so I'll have a place to actually, uh, you know, put the pens. It, if I had the idea sooner to mine out that entire mine shaft, I would have definitely not have planted these trees, because, I mean, I mean, I've gotten three stacks, I think like four, it was either four or five stacks of actual planks, <clears throat> and a bunch of fen fences, so... Now, this is for cows, this will be for the sheep, um, since chickens aren't too big, like, you know, size-wise, if I make a thing here, then hopefully that will do, and we'll make the door right here, good, I'm about to put chickens in here and just let them all go. And I promise, guys, I won't kill them as soon as I see one. Maybe the first few out of force of habit, but not all of them. I have to figure it out at some point. Now, I don't remember what the plan was for this. Oh yeah, whoa. Um, uh, we need to find two or three different colors to make this to make this ground here. We need to have kind of a pattern that we need to obey by. I was thinking, uh, how about the theme for my channel colors, which is a very dark blue, like a navy blue, and a... Oh, it's not exactly a baby blue, but it's, it's a kind of blue like this, but just a hair brighter. Um, which would be the equivalent of... Oh! Okay, that actually scared the crap out of me. Okay, goodbye. Um, I don't think I have any blue dye, so I can't show you show you right now. Uh, we'll go ahead and find some flowers, and we'll go ahead and dye some sheep, and those will be our sheep that we work with. Um, so it, yeah, in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and make our XP farm. That's definitely going to be our main priority, and seeing what else there is to see beyond those spider spawners. And if those spider spawners end up going, and I end up having to destroy them, then I, I'm okay with it, because I think the zombie spawner will suffice. Uh, if I keep one, I'm only keeping that one, I'm not keeping both of those, because I definitely think that two is definitely, well, three XP farms is definitely not required. Um, I'm kind of happy because usually I never find any any dungeons anywhere. So I'm thinking, well, huh, for how much bad luck I've had in the series, this is not that bad. All right, so yeah, um, we're gonna go ahead and also go ahead and clear this out real fast, just just before I I forget between the videos, and we're gonna plant. A bunch of pumpkin seeds and watermelon seeds. There we go. Alright, okay, yeah. So, we're going to plant a bunch of watermelon, uh, also beets, watermelon and pumpkin seeds, uh, so we know which way they actually grow. Uh, I think it's maybe to the west or something. The actual pumpkin, or the actual block... Uh, likes to grow off to one side. So let me go ahead and find... Do I not have any pumpkin? I mean, not pumpkin. Watermelon? Do I really... Do I really not have any watermelon? Unless if it's upstairs, then I don't know. Or in one of these chests. No. Huh. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and space these out. Just in case if they grow one specific way, we're not intruding on growing that in that way. Okay, should be good. And eventually we'll find out. Let's go ahead and try and find out faster. Let's speed up the process of these. And hopefully by the end of the video, we'll go ahead and have our answer. And we'll 
change our farm to accommodate the way they grow. Okay, sorry, just trying to clear out my hot bar so I can get this sugar cane. Now this is a good farm, and this is a good house to have. I have a farm in the house in case if I can't go outside, uh, mobs are less likely to destroy the farm. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, we'll have an XP farm so I can just grind for maybe an hour or so. Uh, you know, put some music on and grind between videos instead of having to go out and actual mob hunt. Um, I could do a, a mob spawner out in the nether as well. Unless if I want to reset the nether and get the materials. Which... If I end up doing that, then then I'll go ahead and just, you know, not build anything in there. Or at least nothing important or special. Uh, the only thing I can imagine myself building in the nether, if I was to use it for materials, is cobblestone blocks. I'll just place them down so I don't get lost. Because I have a horrible, horrible tend tendency to get myself lost. And... You know, the nether is not the best place to get lost. So, uh, I wonder if you can grow a farm in the nether. Because if you can, then I might consider actually building in there. And, hey, it could be kind of a crappy farm. Oh, wait, never mind. I forgot, you need water for a farm, and you can't, you can't do that in the nether. Never mind. Alright, so, uh, oh, god. How you doing? I'm gonna get a name tag for you. Oh wait, okay. I need uh, uh I I need w one of those uh, anvils. Okay, I need an anvil, and I think I have some stuff upstairs. I think I started out placing stuff in chest. Okay, I might not have. If I have, then it was either somewhere random. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I definitely didn't place anything in any of those chests. I swear, I had two name tags, though. Did I just go over them? Okay, oh, here they are. They, they were hiding in plain sight. Now... Uh, I don't want to do this, just because it's kind of a waste of iron, but I mean, I can always get more between the videos. So, we're going to go ahead and just do it, because we're going to need it eventually. Let's make ourselves the sand veil. Now, um, to place it, let's place it up here, inside our workshop. Wait, do I want it here? Uh... Uh, there. Okay, it'll be right there, so if I want to have a, a, a disenchanter here, or maybe a, a brewing stand right there, I can go ahead and do that. Ch -ch -ch trying to see what I'm, uh, see what I'm gonna do. Name tag. Sorry. It's like, I gotta make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, let's, um, don't know what's up with my keyboard. We're going to go ahead and call our new friend out on the balcony, Dave. Okay, um, my screen has gone dark. Be right back. Okay, I think we're good. Fixed it. Uh, didn't even take that long. Alright, All right, Dave. Welcome to our humble abode. Uh... You're kind of too thick to fit through the door, so you can just go ahead and chill out here. I mean, you know, you can go in your shell and uh, protect yourself against the sun, so go ahead and just do that. Uh, we'll bring out food, or we'll bring out a flower pot with a flower in it, and you can either eat, eat you can either eat that, or you can just use it for decoration. That's your call, Dave. Uh, I, I really thought we had pumpkin, pumpkin seeds. It must have been in my personal world that I was playing earlier. Huh. Oh, here they are. I am... Oh, man. Oh, okay. So, good news, I guess, 
is that pumpkins grow this way. So let's go ahead and accommodate that and start planting them to grow that way. Now, um, you guys might not like me because now I'm taking the stems apart, but it kind of has to be done now. Uh, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. And start planting you, 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 and you here, and you here. Okay. Put that there, there, there. Um, okay, I'll be right back again. I have to uh, see if I can fix my quality. Testing. All right, good. Uh, let's go ahead and just resync just in case if for some reason my audio or video goes too far ahead. Syncing, syncing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, we're good. Also, I've improved the quality of the video. I like this a lot better. Um, uh, the other day I was trying to run Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 and I accidentally uh, forgot that since I'm streaming it off of my xbox onto my pc that my that it's it's also sending over this high quality hd content and it's on my pc and my pc uh or at least the xbox app can't render that so i was like oh boy i can't do that now so uh that's why firstly i am not doing red dead redemption 2 yet um and also because uh I have no content to actually put up for Red Dead. Sorry about, about that pause, I just kind of had a do moment. Do we have beats? I just clicked those? Yes. Alright. I'm not, ex uh, I don't want to say I'm exactly forgetful, because I mean I am, but at the same time, I mean I'm just astonished by how much either I've forgotten or I'm not actually paying attention. Like. I surely should have seen those melon seeds. I mean, they kind of they kind of stand out, but at the same time, they're small enough where they they don't exactly exactly blend in, but they just don't seem like they're noticeable among all the clutter inside the chest. Let's go ahead and pumpkin melon right here. Yep. I'm Farmer Ray. Farmer Ray Male. Plant. I have to get the cursor right on it. There we go. Okay. So, it's not all ready, but at, but at least we're growing something. So, now we have melons and pumpkins. Oh, oh, this was the melon, wasn't it? Oh, oh well. At least they're down. So let's go ahead and go go to sleep. Then I'll make sure I have some food, just so we don't starve down there. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and start working on that mob spawner. I know I need one bucket of water, but I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can make an infinity pool down down underneath the house. Just cause it'll save me time in case if I accidentally deleted my water block or my water source. Uh, this way. Now, uh, don't want to move the torches because then they'll start spawning. First things first, I might have to go back up to the house and get some resources because I think I, I'd forgotten. Um, well, first things first, <clears throat> let's go ahead and make this area look nice because this will be our our walk-in area <clears throat> and we'll make a tunnel going from this side <clears throat> to the other side so we'll basically be going around it <clears throat> um but also at the same time we'll also be going underneath it <clears throat> so what will happen is it'll start out as a 
tunnel. Then we'll either have a set of stairs or or have a, a a ladder going down low enough so the zombies will fall down and we can kill them <clears throat> without us eat, taking any damage. So I want to make sure this looks nice because uh, I mean I'm not going to be in any threat or danger and plus I have time. I looked at that spider web. I, I, I saw like one quarter of the spider web and I thought it was a player name tag. I was about to say, boy, who is on my server? Didn't see them join. Unless if for some reason they joined, or if somehow they joined why I was setting up recording. And if that happened, then wow. How would someone even join me if I don't have... Well, if there's no one in the house to join that's connected to my Wi-Fi. No, actually, I think friends can join, because uh, I think I have my multiplayer settings on. So, yeah, I can see that happening. Now, is this our center? Did I accidentally place our torch right in the center? Um, trying to think here. I'm always trying to think. Uh, I want to make my infinity pool out here, just so I don't have to walk so far. Ooh, I, I don't like the sounds of spiders. They sound nasty. It's like hearing someone eating. It's just, like, not good. Ugh. Ugh, I don't like it. Alright. Go away, go away. Oh, no. Ah, did it. He did it. All right, let's head up. Let's get some food. Um, I I also need to, well, first put down my bucket of water before getting another. There we go. Now let's make the infinity pool. I swear, with z with spiders, I feel like someone over at Mojang just said. Hey Steve, get over here with your burrito and just chew into the mar into the microphone. Come on, Steve, you can do it. And now Steve is in charge of sound effects because he chewed a burrito into the microwave and they called the file sound spider or spider sounds. Man. Every time I record Minecraft, time just flies by, and I've been talking, I think, for the majority of this video. Um, I, in the beginning, I did cut out, uh, I'm going to be cutting out a lot because there's not much, there wasn't much apart from me just running around trying to find where I am, so, uh, but, I mean, I'm going to have s some, some footage. Okay, uh... What do we need to do? Alright. We're going to have to mine out this entire bottom. Because they need to flow down here. Um, let's go ahead and also place torches. Uh, as soon as we have some, some more of this ground uncovered. Because we don't want mobs spawning right now. Or right away. Before we even have it set up. So, right now, we'll set, set it like that. Um, probably later down the road, I'll, I'll make a redstone a redstone light setup. So, in case if I don't want mobs spawning at night or something, or if I don't want them spawning, then we'll go ahead and just, like, activate the light. I think that's kind of a cool idea. Alright. Now, this, we'll go ahead and remove once we have everything else set up. Alright, um, we'll place, uh, don't want to place water yet either. Um, okay, so we'll go ahead and place a long thing like this right here. I could make it a 2x2, two two, but sometimes they get clipped and they don't actually go down into the hole. Or they'll get caught over on the blocks if I was to place water here and here and over on the corners. Or sometimes or sometimes they'll just 
stay right right in the center. So that's not what we want. Um, we want them to fall down. Here, that's good. Just keep going. Uh, we want them to fall down here, and down there will be a place for me to actually kill them. Here. Okay, looks good. Now, uh, the zombies are going to fall. Let's see if I can place a block. Yes, great. Okay. So, now, if I am correct, the water flow is going to now push them into the center. Now, they won't drown, but they will um, be held in one spot. So, those, let's say they'll be pushed down due to the water, then they'll fall right into that center block. And to prevent myself from uh, getting water down and in, into that place where we'll be attacking them from, I'll get a fence or a ladder, ladder or something. So, something that can't actually allow water to... Uh, something that doesn't allow water to pass through, but you can still attack people without it being a full block. Will you guys stop it? It's annoying. Let's just keep going. Don't want to get caught in that again. Alright. Okay, so, uh, let me think. I'm always thinking. Alright, here. Oh, shoot. Okay. So, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, fences, 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 fences. Or do I want carpet? Um, trap door. Crap. Need to make a trap door. Need a crafting table for that. Alright. Let's go ahead and make that high. Um, and where is it? Trap door. Look, trap door. Now, does this prevent water? Or does this not actually work? Oh. So it does. It, it, it goes underwater and it stops water, I'm guessing. Yeah. Can we just mine this? Come on, come on. We can do it, we can do it, yep. Alright, didn't die. Hmm? Okay, there. Now, let's get up here. Uh, let's get up here, and there we go. So now, they'll fall here, and I'm thinking if I want to, I can remove that block. And make it uh, go shorter. So now I can yeet a block here as well. Now let's do the same thing over here. Yeet the block down, mine this. Um, let's go ahead and actually use this, uh, like that. There we go. Now, water shouldn't get in the center. Uh, um, yeah, I was right. Now, let's do this. As far as I know, this should work. I mean, if it don't, then that kind of sucks. Um, you know what? No. We'll go ahead and have it right, right in the center. Uh, I'm going to have to add ladders or trap or ow, or trap doors right along this bottom piece just so they don't spawn in. Um, so just so so I don't have the difficulty of you know trying to swim in water while also gathering XP. So we're going to go ahead and make some more trap doors. Alright, good enough. Right? Like that. That and that. Huh, okay, good. So now I guess if I want to, I can now close it. Um, I'll go ahead and make this whole area at least 
big enough where I can uh, have a chest, and perhaps, maybe, I'll have my enchanting table underneath the house down in this mine. Or, if I get enough diamonds, I could make two. No, I ain't gonna, I'm not going to do that. But I'll put my mine, um, uh, my into port. I, I, I'm getting everything mixed up. I'm going to put my nether portal down here because, you know, I mean, it's away from the house. I don't have to hear the creepy sounds every time I'm up in the house. And plus, it's down here with the XP farm. Maybe I can get another XP farm in the nether. And also, I found out, found out that you can turn Indersite into Smooth Stone. Uh, I don't know if it's the same thing with the other two uh, materials, like graphite, um, and whatever this one's called. Let me check. Okay. Like, graphite or diorite, but I think, it, I think it's an andersite, and if you smelt stone, uh, after, you know, you convert it from cobblestone into stone, then you, you know, uh, I think you can also turn the other ones in, into smooth stone, but I'm not 100% sure. Well, fine. We'll find out in this video, actually, because now I'm kind of curious. Kind of curious. Now, this is perfect, because they can't attack me, but if I want, I can be extra safe, and there we go. Now, if I want to attack, I can do this and beat the living daylights out of them. And just so we don't end up making this area a mob spawner within itself, let's go ahead and just light this place up. And mine upward, and there's our entrance. I have to make another crafting table. There we go. We'll put this in the corner. And we'll make some ladders. Good. Alright. And just because I think it'd be good later down the line. Oh, I forgot I already had chest. Okay. So we'll go ahead and make also furnaces. There we go. Now, place those in place to the chest. Just because I know I'm going to have a lot of rotten flesh, which I think the priest villager will appreciate. Now, it's all nice. Uh, not exactly, you know, beautiful, but it'll suffice. Okay, so here's our entrance. Here's a mob spawner. And down here is the entrance into our actual place where we get our XP. Let's go ahead and finish up the deed in here. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I forgot. I need to fill up my water bucket. Now, let's just, let's just fill our, our buckets back up. There we go. Now... Uh, let me, uh, I want, what do I want to do? Because, now, the zombies will start floating on these, and that's a problem. Let's go ahead and place some chests in a camping site over here, so I can continue getting resources from this part of the mine as well. Alright guys, so this is kind of a stupid idea, but I think it might work. Uh, this will prevent the water from actually flowing down down there. Um, it, I mean, it works. Uh, I, well, as far as I'm seeing right now. We'll go ahead and test, test it out once we have all of the blocks removed and we're ready to put it in uh, full, full swing. There we go. Now, this should be good. Let's just remove these. And actually... Oh, 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 okay. I was about to go down. Um, let's go ahead and also get our blocks ready. Because we're, we're going to have to cover that up really fast. Is there any torches anywhere? All right. There. Let's... All right. Good. And he's gone. Goodbye. There we go. Now, that is my mob spawner. Kind of weird right now. Um, I'm going to have to check on that real fast. Because I think that they're just floating. 
Let's go and uh, correct that. Oh, uh, don't wanna, don't wanna go down there. Okay, so let's go ahead and just keep that there. I'll go ahead and fix that in another video. I think this is definitely like really good for a, for the first time in making a mob spawner in a while. So I'm not gonna argue. Um, I just gotta figure out how to. Everything is breaking. What the heck? Okay, at least we have the iron. There. Now is this? Yes, it's gonna give us XP. Now this is the uh, Jack Frost Miner XP farm. It's probably from probably from someone else, but um. Since, since Jack Frost did it, I decided to do it because I thought it was good. It was cool. <laughs> it's funny every time. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can place a torch on that and over there. Now I want to go ahead and actually kill you guys. I want to fix that because I think you guys are floating on on the water. And it's preventing you from coming to the center. There we go. Oh, not done. All right, there we, there we go. Uh, let's find a way to not die as we come down here. Yoink. And place. There we go. Should work now. <laughs> now, get rid of you. Uh, get rid of you and you. Now mobs should start spawning again. Oh, and my phone went off. I wasn't paying attention. Alright, there we go. So now, if I want to, I think without hopefully destroying the block, I can remove these and I can get up like real close. And they can attack me, so I got I still gotta be careful. Ah, I got ju I just got a carrot. And that I wasn't getting before, so. Now, now I can start a carrot farm. I'll have as many carrots as I do potatoes. Now, I don't know if if they spawn less frequent when you're slightly further away. So, if I let's say stand up here for a minute, they'll start spawning, then I'll go downstairs and start actually, you know, Doing, doing the deed of killing him. Alright, so... Uh, that was... Something decent. Uh, now, let's go ahead and head back up. And... Actually, no. You know what? We gotta get rid of these. I'm kinda sick of them. Uh, they haven't caused... They haven't done anything but caused me trouble. So let's go ahead and just get rid of them. You know, gets rid of the trouble and I can... Expand... Uh, out more of this mine. And that explains a lot. Is that another one? Is that a dungeon? I'm low-key liking this mine, like, a lot now. I mean, I liked it before, but I didn't expect it to be have this much. Wow. Okay, so I'll be right back after a hand. Ow, 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 ow. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Ow, ow. This isn't helping, this isn't helping. Ow. Get away. Okay. Alright, well, um, I want to go ahead and say, ow, thank you for watching this video. My name is Jeremiah Mayo, and let's, let's get the heck out of here. Um, yeah, that was definitely not good. Let's hope that, let's hope they didn't follow me at all. Alright. So, you know what, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. We'll go ahead and do the farming in the next video, just because I think we have done enough. Um, uh, I really don't know what I'll be doing in the next video uh, it, for farming exactly, but I can tell you that, we'll, that we will be getting sheep and we will be putting them in. And since we have a carrot, even though we can't breed the pigs right away, we can at least lead two of them into the same pen. And we will grow this carrot into mini carrots. Let's go and do that. Now, let's check out how many potatoes we'll get. Oh, sorry. I Sorry, I thought I had mined up my only carrot. Okay. Let's see how many potatoes we can get from this. 
Because I think this is enough to trade with one villager for, like, I wonder how many emeralds I can get just for all these carrots. And, of course, I know that you can't actually trade everything all at once to one villager. But, <clears throat> but if I want to enslave them and, and capture them and, and keep them <clears throat> uh, uh, somewhere, then I can do that. Um, next village I find, I'll go ahead and and block in with a giant wall. We're going to build a wall. One around the village to keep the villagers in. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a great one. I'm telling you. Alright, so yeah. Let's go ahead and redo that intro. My name is Jeremiah Mayo. I want to say thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you all later.